Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is the first part of a Thanksgiving series. I'll be covering many traditional recipes which are prepared for this holiday and I will analyze how healthy they are. The recipes I'll be making are inspired by a German blog about American food. I'll link it down below. But before we prepare a lot of delicious food, we have to consider the drinks for our Thanksgiving dinner. Traditionally, homemade apple cider is served together with the food. And Bourjolais Nouveau is a French red wine and it is promoted in the United States as the Thanksgiving drink. For the apple cider, we're taking our apples and cut them into rough chunks. It's not necessary to peel them or to remove the core because later on we're going to filter the mixture. Also cut an orange in half and add it to the apples. Since we won't peel the orange, be sure to use an organic one. Otherwise you will risk having residues of insecticides in your drink. Now we'll add a few spices like a cinnamon stick and a few cloves. Then add some water. Bring it up to a boil and then let it simmer on low heat for about an hour. In the meantime we'll take a break and see what oranges bring to the table nutrition wise. Oranges are a hybrid of tangerines and pomelos. They originally come from China, which is also reflected in their Latin name, Citrus sinensis. Oranges normally don't turn orange when they are ripe, but rather they stay green. For the orange color to develop, the temperature must fall beneath 13 degrees Celsius for a few hours. That almost never happens in the tropic regions where oranges are cultivated, like in Brazil, where 80% of all oranges come from. For sales in Europe or North America, however, this color change is achieved artificially by cooling the fruit because customers think that green oranges aren't ripe and so they wouldn't buy them. Most people, including me, remove the white layer between the orange peel and the pulp because it tastes bitter. But this mesocarp is actually edible and it even contains as much vitamin C as the pulp. Also it consists of a lot of dietary fiber which keeps you satiated longer and speeds up the bowel movement, which reduces the risk for colon cancer. Now, let's look at the nutritional values of 100 grams of these citrus fruits. The carbohydrates consist of the dietary fiber mentioned before and sugar. The amount of sugar is especially high if you only consume the orange juice, because it needs four to five oranges to fill up a glass. However, if you eat the whole fruit, it's not likely you'll consume so many and therefore the sugar is nothing to be concerned about. What really catches the eye though is the amount of vitamin C. Only 100 grams of oranges give you 50 milligrams of this important vitamin. If we look at the relative numbers of the nutrients, which means the percentage of the daily recommended intake, it doesn't seem impressive on the first glance. The only exception being vitamin C. 100 grams of oranges already deliver 50% of your daily dose of vitamin C. That's really impressive. With all that knowledge in mind, let's see how our apple cider is doing. Welcome back to the kitchen. The apples have now softened quite a bit and we can mash them now into a puree. Now it's time to add some brown sugar and a bit maple syrup. After you've mixed everything well, let it simmer for about 30 minutes. After the apple cider has now reduced, we can filter it through a strainer. Now we squeeze out all the juices and then our homemade apple cider is all done. It should be served while it's still hot. 
But if you want to, you can cut out some leftover apple slices into nice shapes and then decorate the glass with it. The 250 milliliters of apple cider analyzed here mainly consist of water, which isn't surprising. It has quite a lot of sugar, because sugar is already present in the fruit juices and we added brown sugar and maple syrup. The sugar in the fruit isn't counted to the daily recommended limit, but despite that we already reached 20% of this limit with only one glass of apple cider. And you can see that the amount of vitamin C isn't nearly as high as in oranges on their own. But still, it's not bad. When we have a look at the relative numbers of the nutrients, we can see that the only nutrient beside the vitamin C, which stands out, is copper. It can be found both in oranges and in apples. However, apples tend to have slightly more of it. Overall, we can conclude that we drink apple cider mainly for the taste and not the nutrients. But good tasting drinks and food are an important factor for one essential substance in life. Happiness. I hope you give this recipe a try. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any more content. See you in the next episode of How Healthy is Thanksgiving. Cheers!